stop! Billy, stop! Let her go! Stay out of my way! What are you doing? Warning! Keep back! Come on, think this through! Dad, do something! Shut up! Shut up! Tell us, Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... They're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. You knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like Decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Billy, listen, I get it. You're angry, but we need Laura alive. She's the only one here familiar with what we're dealing with. And what good does it do us if she keeps that intel to herself? Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us, put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner, ah, I... shut it. Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what, I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes. I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it. I just did, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still. Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got it. <sighs> you just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic Park the game. That was a pretty tense moment with there with Billy and Dr. Sorkin as we start episode four, the survivor, or the survivors, excuse me. Let's see what Nima has going on. Uh, I don't think we're ready to quite open that door yet. Let's take a peek out. I'm assuming the raptors are gone at this point, unless they're just stalking anything. right out there. Maybe it's clear. Maybe it's not. We don't know. Uh, I don't think we're quite ready to open that door. We got ourselves a shovel and a tank. I'm assuming some sort of oxygen tank. Huele excremento. A poop shovel. I'm assuming that's what it said in Spanish or some sort of Latin derivative language here. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? We don't want to open the door quite yet. Let's see what Jer Bear has over here. We got a vent. We got some lockers. Locked. Okay, but you could easily probably uh, jimmy that door open. It's also the end of the world for you guys, so there's... A flare kit. This might come in handy. Okay, Jerry's got us a flare. If we need to distract a T-Rex or something like that. Let's take a peek at the vent here. I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. It's probably hot where they pulled pot. the body in from, and a hot pipe. Or a hot boiler of sorts. All right, and let's see what Jess has to look at. Uh, we'll come back and talk to Billy in a second. Let's look over here. We got a locked vent. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? Take a peek through there, see if she can actually see anything. What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Okay, so we need to figure out how to unlock that. Uh, totally isn't fair. The vent, eggs. Um, let's back out for a second. Oops. See, I always do this. Okay, let's go back to resume. Sorry about that. 
Uh, let's, we'll go with Eggs and Sorkin here. I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ova um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating, but these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. All right, let's talk to Billy here and see what he has to say. Are you okay? Jess, hon, leave him alone. All right, so I think we've taken a peek at just about everything. Let's go... Let's see if he can say, turn on beat your Nima, turn on behavior, stay out of the vents. Uh, let's go with this. Nima, what can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. They had glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah, like Ojos del Lobo. Okay, uh... These Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with a toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes, definitely. See what else? Uh, Jess, tell Jess stay away from the vents. vents. No more sneaking off. Understand? I'm not hm. going anywhere, Dad. And then uh, one last thing here. Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? Uh, maybe Billy could use more time. Give me a few more minutes, I guess. I don't know. Let's take a peek. I think so too. So that means we gotta find something else. We've already done that. Maybe we should get going. Nope, I already... Mm. Come on. Are you sure? Bum, 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 da, dun, dun, dun. Maybe Billy could thought. use more time. There we go. Alright, let's I think so too. see. Nima still has to try the door. So let's see if she has anything out there. Alright, let's, let's see what happens when we try the door. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Okay, fair enough. He's made his thoughts known. Uh, trapped like a rat. I hate being trapped on here like a rat. And then, let's see, stay close. Jess, stay close to me, okay? I'll keep you safe. Dad? That's a good idea, hon. Aww. Okay. Uh, and let's see what Jess has to say or do. The lockers. Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how. But I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. <laughs> Okay, uh, the vent, this totally isn't fair. So if this whole trip was, like, set up to scare me away from shoplifting, mission accomplished. <laughs> All right, um, what are we missing here? We gotta be missing something. So the eye's gonna move again? Creepy. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go back to 
Jerry, I guess. Has he got what else has he got? Um, maybe now we can go. Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? No. Okay. On second thought. Okay, we got to be missing. Maybe something. Billy could use more time. <sighs> We've tried the door. I think so too. Let's try, let's go back to Jess, maybe? There's gotta be something we're missing. Um, we already done the lockers, I guess let's say the vent. This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess, I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. <laughs> Sorry to be such a burden. Uh, lockers Can I pick again? this lock? Not that I would know how, but I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. I guess maybe it is. Maybe we just have to say it's time to go because I don't know what else we're supposed to do. Um, let's Jerry, try. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should. She's right. ourselves a flame grenade some sort of fire grenade Billy did you find something no nothing is everyone ready what about decaf I took care of that it looked like you took something off him and if he has something that will help us I didn't find anything I took his dog tags insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned satisfied Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um... According to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Ooh, we got friends coming. Oh no. Dad. And it doesn't lock, right? And they know that vent, so we need to watch the vent. They're coming through the vent! Dang, okay, come on. Come on, Billy. We gotta go here, friends. That shovel. Push it back, come on. There you go. Glowy eye little creepy thing. Lock the door, Jerry. They're going past the door. Is there another vent? Oh, there's another vent. Ooh, we gotta go. Come on, Nima, you got this. Jerry, get that grate open! I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll find that something! The air tank! What? Use the air tank! It's heavy and sturdy! Uh, bu -bu -bu. There it is. Grab that. Come on, Jerry. Put a little pep in the step, my man. Smashy, smashy. Yeah. One more time. Come on. Oh, Jerry! Help me! I'm a little 
busy here. The bears. What about them? Oh, throw me one. Just that's you. Just why aren't you helping? Heads up. Ah, too early. Damn it. All right, let's try this again. Heads up! There we go. All right, let's light that flare and see if this will scare him off. Sounds like it's scaring him off. At least for a minute. Ah, shoot, too quick. All right, come on, Jerry. Smashy, smashy again. All right, lock is off. It's time for the gang to get out of Dodge. All right. Jess, Dr. Sorkin, Nima, Jare Bear, and where's Billy at, Billy? There we go, yeah. Break that vent. That pipe. Spray him with hot steam. Man, this thing will not give up. Break it again. There we go, some really hot steam now. Alright. Billy got a flare at least. What we'll use that flare R for, I don't know, but I'm guessing it's gonna impact us later on. So Billy got a flare and Nima did not. Huh. Oh no. Which way, Laura? I don't know where we way. are anymore. We we need to head towards the north. Um Helipad fences. That tour. village is inland. That's the wrong way. So then we need to go this the way. The desalination plant. Monitor the, the marine is still after us. Look, follow the red conduit. All right, and this way we go. Oh, we probably could try to turn the power on. Dang it! Keep moving. Don't look back. It only really slows you down. She said, follow the red conduit. Where's the red conduit at? Um, I don't see anything. Do you guys? Okay, left. A breakout box. Keep after the red Can't conduit. Can't stop. They're right in our tail. All right, so we need to go this way. Wait. The conduit's gone. Don't stop. Wait. Those are water mains. Go. Follow them. Water does not necessarily mean green exhibit, but okay, we'll take this. Which way, Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay. We just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Oh boy, more puzzles. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Okay. So let's take a gander at this. So here's the four-way intersections. So we've got a dead end with a ladder, dead end with a ladder. Um, do they all seem to turn... They're all kind of the same, aren't they? Hold on. I just don't have enough details to make a decision. All right, so we probably need to talk to everyone. Uh, so if we read this, survey the corridors. Look down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. All right, let's go to Nima first. She's got uh, quite a bit of stuff going on here. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. 
Got there are better these sight two big me. electrical boxes of some kind on the right. Two big electrical boxes. And then I saw something down here that we might be able to describe. Not necessarily. Okay, then let's go to Dr. Sorkin. And let's see if we can figure out... Um, see, I don't know what we're necessarily looking at. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does that help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. Okay, so Nima's had a pipe that started on the, the left and then crossed over. And then there was some boxes. So I wonder if we're this one. I think we're this one in the lower left. Um, okay, let's go talk to some other folks. Billy, what are you seeing? Billy's got... Oh, okay. Got a flare so we can see There's a lot more. There's a set more. of water tanks partway down the corridor on the right. Water tanks on the this right. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. Dead end. Looks like there's I a ladder. See one ladder at the end of the hallway. So, ladder at the end, pipes on the left, water tanks on the right, I think. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. Okay, so let's go back to Dr. Sorkin's. Let's take a peek here. Um, dead end, water tanks on the right goes into the floor about halfway down I think he said so I think this I still think it's this one here let's see what Jerry has to say there's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end ladder on the right far wall at the end so you got a flare too okay so we can actually see a little bit more it looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. T intersection, water tanks There's at the hall. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. Okay, let's see if that lines up with what that one we've been looking at is. Water tanks right. I think we're this one. I think this has got to be it, right? Um... Let's go back to Billy. Let's make sure Billy's is halfway down. There's a set of water tanks partway down the corridor on the right. Yeah, I think this is it. Partway down the corridor on the right. Because um, if you look at these other ones, these are all kind of closer to the end, so I think this it is it. could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? All right, so I had to cross the other ones off, so I'm 99% I'm sure it's this one here on the bottom left. I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. I think we're gonna have company here in a few seconds. What is it? Billy's gonna use that flare and we're gonna have a lot of friends here. Quite a few friends, oh my god. Alright, it's time to go.
Come on, up the ladder. Alright. We got out. Ooh, we're back up top. Oh, God. Jess! Oh, what have I done? Come on, Jerry. I just left her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? She said it was north, right? I think she said north. Uh, it must be to the north, near the outlet of the river. A big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. What does your name mean? It means little fish. You know, like uh, the ones that have so many colors. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Indian people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. Spared no expense. Hammond. The man who made all this. He runs Injen. It's something he always says. He'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. So, he spent it all on the dinosaurs, not on my people. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. What is Sibo? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Injun. And my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher, 
And at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the fisher's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes, it's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good strong name. And a good city. Nima, look, I... What is it? Nima, I want to trust you. Help me get Jess off this island, and I will do whatever I can to help you and your daughter. I could not hold you to that, Jerry. If we don't get off this island, you might not have to. Please. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Shh! Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern-day birds. For instance, <laughs> we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. How convenient. Would you look at this? What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. That's a lot of fish. How many whales are they feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Oh, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Hold up. I hear something. All clear. Dad! Jess! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact InGen and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is going to be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? That's right, Doc. They're going to murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio! That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. 
Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura? Wait, what are you... Where is she going? I don't know. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it! Get that elevator back up here! Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. All right, well, that was quite a lot to consume, so I think this is going to be a fantastic place for it to stop. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this Jurassic Park of the Game video here on Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. I appreciate all the likes, the subscribes, everything you guys are doing. I'm here for it as long as you guys are here for it as well. If you want to get this content on time in an organized fashion, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in next Jurassic Park the Game video.